Not only is this the cheapest CPU on AliExpress, it's also interesting for another reason. This CPU here comes with a little adapter which allows me to install it on the wrong motherboard. Yep, this CPU is an LGA771 Xeon. However, I'm going to be installing it in an LGA775 motherboard. Now, obviously typically, and you guys already know this, that's typically not possible. However, thanks to a tiny little adapter that you probably can't see on the back of this CPU, I'm going to be doing exactly that. But before we get into that video, I just want to say a massive thank you to absolutely everyone that has already subscribed. Because if you guys haven't already noticed, we've just hit 5,000 subscribers. And honestly, every single one of you means the world to me. And I've been saying for ages now, I'd love to be able to do a giveaway to celebrate. And we're going to be doing exactly that. Details will be at the end of this video, and there'll be a link in the video description. So do be sure to stick around and make sure you find out all the details for that. And I will see you guys later on then. However, without further ado, let's get into our video. So there's certain things that I would recommend to inexperienced PC builders and there's certain things I certainly wouldn't. This is definitely one of the things that I wouldn't recommend unless you are incredibly competent and you're confident in your capabilities. And the reason is because there's very few situations when a knife is required when building a PC. However, this is definitely one of them. No, so unless you've already purchased a pre-modified chip like I did, this is what you're going to need to do. You're going to need to take your adapter and they can be purchased on places like eBay for a matter of pennies. They're incredibly cheap. I wouldn't worry about the cost. So you take your adapter and you make sure you have to line it up with the two correct pins on the back of the Xeon CPU. And then just make sure you remove the adhesive as well so that it, well, the cover on the, don't remove the adhesive. Make sure you remove the cover on the adhesive so that it sticks to the CPU and it doesn't fall off whilst it's installed. And then that's the easy bit. The difficult bit involves the knife, as I'm sure you can probably imagine. What you're going to need to do is take a look at your LGA775 motherboard socket and you will see two little, not indents, what's the opposite of an indent? Well, two protruding little bits of plastic. That essentially stops you from installing your CPU in the incorrect orientation. However, for this LGA775 mod, we're going to need to install it in the incorrect orientation. And so those need to come out. So take probably a craft knife is what I'd recommend, nice and sharp, and then be very careful in removing those because if you damage your socket, you will break your motherboard and you will not be able to do this. In fact, and you'll have some dead hardware on your hands. So I'd recommend being very careful whilst doing this if you're gonna do it at all. Quick little side note that I just realized I need to make whilst I was editing this video. Do be sure to make sure your CPU that you want to use, the LGA771 CPU and the motherboard that you want to use are compatible. Links for websites on how to do that will be down below. Make sure to do that, otherwise you might be left disappointed. So the question that is probably on everyone's minds at the moment is why on earth would you even bother? It seems like a hell of a lot of effort for such an old platform. Is anyone even still using LGA775? Well, the answer surprisingly is yes. My £2 gaming PC video that I did a while back, that used an LGA775 CPU and motherboard. Many pre-built Dells and HP lap, uh, desktops that are sold on eBay, they are LGA775 and people turn those into gaming PCs all the time. It may be old, however, it does still pack reasonable performance for the price you're paying. And so it's incredible value for people who are on a budget. Now. LGA771 Xeon CPUs do have some advantages over LGA775 standard desktop CPUs. In fact, they overclock far better, typically speaking anyway, because Intel Xeon CPUs tend to have higher quality silicon in them, and so they tend to be able to get slightly better overclocks. Not only that, but for the same amount of money being spent, you typically, even at base clock, get better performance out of the Xeon chips. And so on a budget, these CPUs are incredibly powerful for people who really are only spending one or two dollars, maybe a couple of pounds, not spending very much money at all on their CPU. And so even at this price point, you can potentially get significantly more performance by doing this mod. And so that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're going to be taking two equally priced CPUs, one from LGA775, one from LGA771, and comparing in the same motherboard with the same graphics card, the same RAM, seeing what the performance difference is. And I think you guys might be surprised. And so here are our two chips. 
Here we have the modded Intel Xeon X5 260. It's a dual core CPU. And here we have the not modded Intel E5200, which is also a dual core CPU. Now they both cost about £3.50-ish. The Xeon being purchased from AliExpress and the E5200 being purchased from eBay. Now, the Xeon does have higher stock clocks and should overclock higher as well. For our tests, they'll both be running at the maximum overclock that I could achieve on these CPUs whilst them still being stable. And so hopefully we should get some interesting results. So without further ado, how about we test out these CPUs? The Intel E5200 was only able to achieve a very small overclock going from 2 GHz to 2.2 GHz. Whereas the X5 260 was able to do a little bit better. We went from a stock clock of 3.3 GHz all the way up to 4 GHz stable. And so hopefully we should see some big performance gains using the X5 260. I tested four games in total. Wreckfest, GTA 5, Minecraft and Team Fortress 2. In Wreckfest, we saw some interesting results as the average frame rate with the X5 260 was significantly greater than with the E5200. However, we saw many more dips in frames per second as both the 1 and 0.1% lows as well as minimum FPS were lower with the X5 260. And so in this scenario, the E5200 actually produced a smoother experience, even if it never reached as high of an FPS. In GTA 5, our results were more in line with what we would expect as here we can expect a more significant bottleneck caused by our CPU. Our X5 260 almost doubles the average frames per second of our E5200, whilst just about beating it in both 0.1 and 1% lows, giving the X5 260 a clear lead over the E5200 in GTA 5. Next up is Minecraft, and again, we see the X5 260 beating out the E5200. Whilst our results here aren't quite as impressive as they were with GTA 5, the X5 260 still beats out the E5200 by about 20% in both average and 0.1 and 1% lows. Lastly is Team Fortress 2. And again, it's more of the same. The X5 260 was actually able to achieve average frame rates of more than 60 frames per second in this title, whilst the E5200 trailed behind at just 36 frames per second. Here we see our only significant difference in 1% lows, with the X5 260 never dropping below 20, whilst the E5200 dips as low as 11.2, leaving the X5 260 as the clear victor in games running Valve's Half-Life engine. So this is usually the part of the video where I do a quick wrap up and I talk about how the X5 260 is definitely worth it over the E5200, especially considering they're at the same price point. However, I know you guys are more interested in what I talked about earlier in this video, and that's the giveaway. Now, here is a box, and inside this box is a bunch of goodies from a company that I so very frequently work with called Akasa. They make all sorts of high quality products, mostly accessories for your PC, including power supplies, cases, and especially relevant for today is lots of RGB products. In this box is a whole host of RGB products and I'm going to be giving them all away to one lucky winner and it is an international giveaway so no matter where you are but do be sure to enter. Inside we have things like RGB strips, we have more RGB strips, more RGB strips, we have controllers like RGB controllers as well as RAM kits to make your RAM look nice and shiny. And so that is going to be given away to one of you lucky guys at home. The link to enter will be in the video description, but do be sure to like and comment on the video to let me know if you have entered the giveaway or not. And I'd be really, really lucky. I, I think I'm, I'm really lucky. I'm really lucky to be in this position to be able to do this. And I'm really thankful for Acasa. They're a fantastic company. And even if you guys don't win the giveaway, I would recommend you guys check out their products. Links to them will be in the video description as well. And yeah, I, I'm, I just feel, I feel very lucky and privileged to be in this position where I can sort of try and give back to my, my community because I, I really do love all of you guys out there and it does mean a lot to me for, for, for subscribing. So genuinely from the bottom of my heart, thank you everyone for choosing to subscribe and I can't wait to see you all in the next video.